Hello there, I'm Alger Hill, and welcome back to New York Dream Sauce for Magnet of Heaven. We are Manju, playing some Chin King. We've conquered a large amount of territory, including that gold province in Yarkland. Now, it is just about destroying those last Korean East provinces, and then moving to destroy Ming. So there's the next rebellions. That was to be expected. Fully expected and, ex fully expected and anticipated. This is fine. They actually have nowhere else to go over than through me. Damn, Yarkland Separatists. Oh, hello. You're gonna run straight into us. Alright, fucking fine. Loyalty reward. As a long time and faithful tributary of Mick, we've been sent an enormous gift. This strengthens our rule internally and will fatten our coppers immensely. 266 ducats, 10 horde unity. Incredible. Will this give us a truce to cancel tributary? It doesn't say it will. It doesn't say that. Hmm. Okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm literally Googling it right now. Okay. What's their trust with me right now? It is super high. I think it might be the time... Okay, once I declare war on Korea... I will break the. Ch I will break it. So then I'll then I'll be able to attack them. Yes. Yes, that's the plan. Just send that siege stack over there. We're gonna turn you right down as well. Where's the next rebels? Seventy percent for Caradell. In human, it's fine. Checked in 1.7 years. In Almaty, bro, go away. You know what? I'm just going to increase autonomy here. You're not helping me at all. You're just annoying me. So, Caradell is problematic, but it's not a huge deal. This is bad. Kochgor. You know what? I'm increasing autonomy. Like, just... <laughs> Just fuck off already. <laughs> I've been dealing with these rebels for too long now. Alright, in Kakara Kasukasum Kasum. Perfect. So that should make it so they don't happen for at least a couple years. Ideally. We have really, really good uh, national unrest reduction, but my religious unity is very poor. Where is ending? Alright, because we've crushed... Ah, oh, there was a recent uprising, we crushed it, so the rebellion's fine. And again, they want more goddamn territory. Of course they do. Why would you not want more territory, you son of a bitch? Fine, you can have that. There you go. If only an order has entered into a golden era. I think it might be a good idea to do my golden era. <gasps> Okay, no, this is the time. This is now fully the time. Ming has now taken plus 14% attack. Oh, shite. I changed my mind. Now's the time. If I took loans, could I afford, could I afford the Renaissance? I'm not sure I could. But I could get some military power. And I could grab... That tech. I could grab tech 9. How long until I get it? June. Okay. Is there any way you could give me some stuff, buddy? What's their influence? It's pretty goddamn high right now. What? Loyalty of 50 or greater. Bro, I'm... <laughs> How much do you want from me? You happy now? What? 
You expect- what do you expect to be? What? They won 40%? You greedy son of a bitch. Am I gonna have to stake useless land just to give you it? You piece of crap. Why is there not a state map mode so I can- Is there one? I don't know. So I can easily see which places have been given to my these states or not. Not that one. Jesus. Ah! How much do you want? You bastards. I've given you everything I own. There we go. Raise host. Gain your general. That is a one fucking six general. That is what I'm talking about. Yes. That is what I am talking about. Thank you. Give me that tech. Give me that tech. Can I ask? Can I get points from these guys? Need the tech. Need the tech. Influent. It, it's going to cost so much money. Ugh, Renaissance cost too much. We don't need it. We don't need it. We just got to wait for the tech. We just wait for the tech. Is there a river here? There is not. We can stack wipe this entire army. This is not a problem. That is not giving us a truce. That is not giving us a truce. Is that claim run out? 30. Oh shit. Oh shit, is this it? Is this it? Is this my boy? Is this the time? Is this the place? Morale of armies bonus. Yes. Why didn't I take that earlier? I don't know. We become a great power. We get to take man to heaven against Ming. <gasps> Okay. Okay, breathe, Alger Hill. Breathe. Okay. We have troops galore. We need more cannons. Breathe. I think we can stack wipe this 22k, and then we can head over there and stack wipe them and get the sieges done and get their devastation done. Um, we should actually be able to do this like crazy. So, we actually can get the Take Mandate of Heaven cases, Belly. 50% aggressive expansion for all provinces. 50% aggressive expansion for all provinces. Breathe, 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 breathe. Okay. This will put us up to our maximum. Oh my god, I'm so ready. Okay, I should have done that a little bit better, but that's okay. Let's go. We're doing this. Let's let's do this. Take my to heaven. I'm so ready. Wait, is there, have I taken everything that I want? Every possible benefit. Every possible... No, I haven't taken my... Golden Arrow. Oh, I can't because I haven't... I need to complete three objectives. Damn it. No Golden Arrow for me. Fine. Let's just do it. Go. Take Mandate to Heaven. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Let's definitely take Mandate to Heaven. Good. Go. Also, the 1-6 General. Ovs. Yes, we've caught them. Exactly. Let's take a look at this. So, they get the a terrain bonus because we have to cross a, 
Oh, wait, what? What? Why are they getting a terrain bonus? They have taken the bonus that gives them extra farm bonus. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so I get bonuses on grasslands. I took that, didn't I? I did, yes. I took the grasslands one. So on grassland, I, I will get uh, the best. But in fact, it's all farmlands. So I really wish I hadn't taken that. Never mind. Kind of useless for me. Um, they will get a plus one bonus. Their fire is better because they have more cannons than me. But also, for God's sakes, vortexes. Okay. Their general's better in fire. So in fire phase, I lose double the men. But I have an advantage, and they have much less morale than me. Shock phase, I rolled poorly, but 25% shock bonus, and a 1-6 general for shock. I'm not going to stack wipe them. If I roll really well next phase, I can get some really good kills, though. So fire phase, we lose pretty tremendously. There it is. That's almost eight times the casualties. Oh my god, I stack wipe them. That's 22,000 dead to my 5,000. Okay, straight away, we're winning. How many is needed to siege this? 4,000. I need 12,000 goddamn men. Okay. We're going to leave behind everything that we can to continue to siege this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Good stuff. Good enough. What are the cannons we need for this? Okay, it needs four, so there's no reason to take any more than one cannon with me. We're going to go chase them down and fight their armies anytime we see them. Also, let's try to decrease their devastation as fast as we can here. Anytime we get the opportunity to decrease the devastation is a good time. Okay, that's actually a fort. Not so great. Maybe we'll just let them carry on with this, actually. We'll just get, try and get some sieges done. We can get some devastation on them. We can start to get really, really strong. We got away for their armies, unfortunately. Damn it. Ah, I gotta start sieging this faster. Just give them the siege pips. Get over there, man. Get those sieges done. Alright, where are they? Where are their troops? Where are their troops? That's what I want to know. It's my three. We got one, one, one. There we go. We got some bonuses. You need at least a full artillery regiment to do this. Okay, cool. I'm very happy to uh, use a blockade there. So we're going to try and increase their devastation as much as possible. To try and lower their mandate. At the moment, their devastation isn't really affecting it because they have a lot of provinces in general. But this is going to gradually help. The force worth three artillery. Damn it! Two artillery. Do it, do it, do it. I believe in you guys. I think getting some mercs is going to be a super good idea as well. This is it, man. This is it. Come on, guys. Prioritize. Yes. Go, go, go. I need 50 military power. Damn it. Why was that not my focus? Why was military not my focus? Ah, oh, Jesus. It hurts the precious. No, you know what? Let's go military now. Just try and increase their devastation as much as possible to try and mitigate their bonuses. Where are their armies? This is frightening to me. Where are their armies? Why don't I know where their armies are? Oh, hi. Nice to see you. Come on, please. Right, they're coming. Ghanian and Jew. Okay. This is good. This is good for us. 
We're going to leave behind one dude. And we're going to head on over there. We're going to wait for them to get locked in. And then we're going to sprint the fuck over there. That's going to give us the Flatlands bonus. It's going to give us every bonus that we could possibly imagine. Okay, no, they're all locking in here. That's fine. I prefer if they did not do that. Come on. Get locked in. Come on. There it is. 27th. 27th. Let's get every fucking soldier we have here. Oh my god. Go away, CC Cleaner. I don't care. Uh, I really, really, really do not want this fucking general to take charge. Just in case this general takes charge, I am sending him elsewhere. Just in case. Twenty eighth of December, lock in. I believe in you guys. Here we go. This is what dreams are made of. It's gonna be a big fucking battle. This is gonna be the battle to end all battles. Here it comes. We might be able to stack wipe these guys very quick. Here it is. Here it comes. Okay, straight away, we've rolled a 10. That is a 10 right there. That is a 9 and a 1 terrain bonus. And the extra morale. They have more discipline than us for some reason, though, because of revised the grand, three grand divisions or something. And a spirit to court. So they got defensive ideas? What they got? They got, they got offensive ideas. Damn it. Okay. We have more cannons than them. They have better tactics than us for some reason. Because of their massive discipline bonus. Shit. So fire-wise, we lose. That is to be expected. The reinforcements arrive on the 12th. We're going to get two shock faces before then. Let's see what we get you know, shock-wise. Here we go. This is the shock roll. Okay, they lost 1,100 more men than us because we have a 7 versus their 8. Even though we're down, we are ahead of them because we have a massive shock bonus. What the fuck are you doing? Do not go that way. What is wrong with you? Let's keep getting mercs. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. The rolls aren't as... I would have preferred higher rolls. Uh, they're going to just keep slamming into us, which I'm not appreciating. They're going to get locked in soon. They're locked in. If we can kill them soon, that'd be great. But 12th. That fire face kills us. But then look at that. Look at that. They rolled a 1. They take... Oh my god, over a thousand more casualties than us. This is brilliant. Here it is. Oh my god, that's like 60k. That is easily 60,000 men. And we won the battle, giving us a gigantic chunk of war score. We lost 6,000 men to their 14,000 men. Oh god, that's good. Okay. Um, Freaking raise the goddamn... Where can I raise the... Banners, give me banners, banners, where, where are banners? Where, where are the banners? There are not enough Manju people, okay, where are the banners? Where, where are the banners? Give me more banners, please. Banners, please, someone. Fucking, fine, raise them here. Anywhere we can raise some banners, I don't care. Give me the banners, we need them. Get some more mercs, too. We're gonna need them. Because here they goddamn come, guys. Here they come. Next lot comes in now. But they're gonna, they're gonna get a minus one. They are not. But they are getting a huge terrain penalty. That reinforcement's not gonna come to the 23rd. Their rolls, they have rolled a seven, but we have an, a, a nine, essentially. So fire-wise, we still, we win by a small margin. Um, for some... Okay, their discipline is much better than ours, but they are not attacking with a general. They are not attacking with a general. AI, please. 
AI, please. What is this life? Okay, so we're going to do this bit by bit. They have rolled a 0, we have rolled a 9 and a 1. Now the thing is with Shock, let's, let's really examine the combat here. So when you look into the actual offensive, they are basically a bunch of arquebusers, a bunch of in the front lines. As you can see, our front lines are filled with our infantry, our mercenary infantry in the center, who are taking the majority of the damage. Unfortunately, I really should have combined weaker stacks of units to maintain that there is uh, more strength there. But we haven't done that, that's okay. We have a lot of cavalry in the flanks and we have the artillery in the back with troops in the back ready to take in at the front. And more troops to come up, please. Thank you. Uh, great, so this is going really well. Um, every single time we roll, what's happening is there's an immense amount of damage happening, because if you look at this, my cavalry can hit more than one of their troops. Obviously, these guys can hit more, and these guys hit a good amount as well, but my cavalry get to hit those flanks really well. This is a benefit of being having cavalry in the flanks, and why you always want at least two cavalry in your army, no matter what you're doing, because they can get that flanking bonus. It's so good. When do the reinforcements arrive? 23rd and finally 18th. So I have literally one day more of shock damage. They're going to come here on a big shock thing, which is going to really hurt them. But let's see what, how much damage it take. And I took 56, they took 876. So essentially, I took no damage, but they did not take as much damage as I would have liked. That is frightening to me, possibly, because... Yes. So again, they took 800 more casualties than me. But the thing is, that doesn't matter. And they need to be taking like 10 times the amount, because they have 10 times the troops. They have four times the troops, so they need to take at least five times the casualties because they can replenish them faster. And the roll is still the same. Okay, so unfortunately there's the fire roll and I have rolled zero. That is just fucking awful. Okay, but here's the fire phase and the reinforcements arrive in two days. But here's the fire phase. What do we get? What do we get? It's still not coming to be a general. They have coming with a 4-4. That is shit for me. Come on, what's the roll? That is 10 times the casualties. I lost 200, they lose 2,000. That is 8, that is 9 versus 1. Unfortunately, that's going to go up. Uh, it's going to go down versus to 5 versus 1 because they're going to get a 4 shock general. Yeah, look at that. So the damage is a lot less. They take 5 times more casualties still, though. <clears throat> that's really good. And that's a new roll. We still roll really well. Luckily, they're rolling really badly. That is a really bad fire roll for us. That is just awful. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, okay, 500 versus the 2.4 thousand. That is a very bad roll for them. There we go. That is killing their morale. Their morale is tanking right now. Okay, and then there's a mediocre... Okay, so they rolled pretty poorly for fire, but they have a very good fire general. There it is. I think this is a win, my friends. This is a win. Except for the fact there is now 32,000 men coming our way. Not so great. Not so great. We're overing the episode a little bit. Okay, we brought 500 versus 600, 100. If we can beat this in the next few days, we're going to get another shock phase. I think we'll be okay. 0.26 is their, is their morale. Every phase, that's one. We're done. They're done. They're done. They're done. Except for the fact that we're about to go into the next shock phase, the next fire phase. Meaning we do lose more men. But their morale tanks. Still tanks. Their relative morale is very low. Please give me one shock phase. If I get one shock phase, that is a victory, my friends. They lost 24,000 men. 23,500 men. I lost 10,000 men. So one thing we're going to want to do is we're going to definitely want to in like incorporate and share our very much weaker soldiers. It's going to make us weak, but it's going to allow us to not get absolutely dicked in the face. This is an important quality. I guarantee me, my friends. Uh, we're going to make sure that we don't have just wasted units, because these guys take up flanks. That is just awful. Please stop. What are you, what are you doing? Please, please stop. Good stuff. There we go. So we're making sure that there's no zero strength units remaining. That is excellent. Let us, let's get a loan. Give me that loan. How are we doing for troops? We are super duper. Let's keep getting mercs, guys. Let's go. Here we go. This episode is going to be a little bit of a long one because I'm attempting to make sure that we see what we get here. So they rolled pretty well. They rolled a 9 versus our 10 on fire, but the thing is our fire is shit. Even though we have more artilleries, our units are just awful. So we are, of course, taking more damage than them. But when we get to the shock phase, they, we lost 1,000. They lost 2,000 because we rolled so high. Yes. And as long as we keep an influx of units coming in, awesome. So they're losing twice as many men. 
I want to see the devastation crumble, man. I want to see it crumble. Obviously, the fire phase kills us. The shock phase is not so great. They rolled an eight. They've managed to survive pretty well. We are now. We are actually losing this shock phase, despite our high morale. For God's sakes, get in there. Oh dear God! All right, you can have this. What I'm doing right now is I'm giving these guys a a more maneuver skill general, so he gets there at least a day earlier. For the love of fuck, please don't lose the battle. I beg of you. Please go to fire. We lost. Okay, we did just lose that. That's going to cause us some issues. Uh, we just lost 15. They lost something like 12 to 13,000 men. We did lose more than them. But overall, they lost a lot more men than we did in this conflict. Uh, we do have around 30, 30, 25,000 men to replenish. It's going to be hard. Um, I'm going to immediately lose these mercenaries, so that was a bad call on my part. We're going to make sure that these guys go back the way they're meant to. They're all going to Jiren, so we're going to send back to Jiren and recuperate and lick our wounds and find some points to attack them. We'll send troops over to here to get into these forts, and we'll send troops to the east, and we'll try and destroy them. I think we can do it. We may take 14 loans, but it's going to be worth it. I was Aldra Hill, and I will continue to be. Be sure to check out the other series I have on my channel. Give me a like and a comment. Let me know what you think. Tell me, do you think I can do this? Can I beat Bing? They have 14 million forts, but I think it's going to be a victory. We just need to really ham this in. We're going to become weaker in about two and a bit years because we're going to lose our cavalry infantry bonus and our plus one combat bonus from being in grasslands, but we can do this. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Do check out my Patreon if you want to be more of a, more of a supporter than a viewer. And for God's sake, wish me luck. Bye-bye.